Yes, kitties. All right. Hello, tubes. Lord of the Croc Squirrels here with some lovely kitty for you. Hello, everybody. And this is JCB Pioneer Mars. This game released on the 1st of September 2017. Uh, and we are looking at this kind of a day after thing. They want 25 bucks for it here on Steam, or at least they will under normal circumstances. Today it happens to be 2249, and that will not be applicable after the 8th of September. So, this is a game that we that we received on release day, and um, I've had a chance to have a look at it. Kitty has not, so we're gonna do we're gonna do that. <laughs> How's that sound, Kitty? Oh, it sounds fun. Well, this in this case, in this particular case, we're we're just gonna get dropped onto the surface of Mars and have to live. So. It's loading. There's nothing I can do about loud. <laughs> I apologize now for all of you, uh, for all of you folks that uh, wear headphones. R.I.P. your ears. It'll be right, the the game itself will be right back. At the time of writing, we have five user reviews, which is not enough to do the thing. The game was done on Unreal Four, which is kind of entertaining. The other, there's a few more things that I think I really wish they would have done first. The first being having it having it uh, scan the settings, the in-game settings before it just switches to before it switches to full screen. As you got some people that are going to not want to do that. There's the controls. These are all the settings. That's all there is. There's no more we don't want to oh, shut up. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I do have a game. I do have a game that I have in progress. I'm going to go ahead and kill it. Now, we're supposed to have explore, survival, and extra and uh, colonize. We have extreme. Oh, the only thing we have is the extreme mode. We cannot try the easy mode because the easy mode is no fun. And I am. I am Crocker Squirrel. Yes, I know. I killed the save data. It's it won't take me long to catch up since I know what the hell I'm doing now. <laughs> I have made no attempt to do this with a uh, with a controller. I'm not sure that it even has controller support. Ah, year is 2067. Why is that important? Because launch windows. Survive and colonize. We've been deployed. And no, not all missions proceed as planned. Because, well, that would be that would be entirely too much fun. How can one person colonize something? You'll see. Pioneer, telemetry shows a critical impact during descent. Rebooting life support systems. See, now she's got these kind surroundings of things for on. materials critical for survival. Success. <laughs> Scanners confirm the existence of a potential life support system. Vehicle Explorer JMC X18. Okay. New mission. Rendezvous with Explorer JMC X18. Where is that? It said it found a crate, but where's the crate? I don't see the crate. Where is the crate? This is what's left of my lander. Highlighting meteor impact location on your hood. Please move quickly. Yes, this British. This isn't about. I said. Inside level 2 meteor shower. Okay. So oh, I am. Uh huh, and I don't see my crate. That's because it's almost 300 meters away. Oh. That's me. Yeah, I'm in a meteor shower. Space to jump off the cliff. Okay. 
over there about 200 meters away and I'm having to run my ass. Stay as close to the side as possible. Because they were kind of, they were semi-nice. And most, most of these things actually land in the crater. They're in the, uh... Turbulent weather patterns affected the mission are still within the immediate vicinity. Okay. I'll remember you said that, lady. I've got about 13, I've got less than 13 minutes to repair. And here is the crate with the vehicle in place. Please enter the JMC X18. Yes, yes, Use yes. Use the JMC X18 scanners to find the landing zone. Okay. Success. Pre-rendered habitation unit located within two kilometers. New mission. Drive to the landing zone. Three modes. Oh, that's so fast. I don't. Avoid those when possible. <laughs> and know this thing is not fast. Your hunger and food meter go down. Your hunger and uh, hydration level later go down very slowly. And all I have to do is get the freaking head. Meteorological on. assessment. JMC X18's current vector will intersect with pressure-based electrostatic phenomena. I shall be wounded. No. Actually, I'm already wounded. Course of action recommended. Evasive maneuvers. Yes, 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 I know. Don't drive through the electromagnetic disturbance. That would probably be an incredibly good thing. About that. Yeah, I see it. I see it. <clears throat> like I said, I didn't spend a lot of time. I spent, I, I did spend some time in this game. I wouldn't call it a lot of time compared to what it's prob, what what it prob, what it's probably going to take. But I did spend long enough with it to get a firm opinion. And it is much sinking with habitation units. Alright. Hand and telemetry indicates damage it. occurred at approximately the same time as your interrupted descent. New mission. Restore the habitation unit to full working order. <coughs> yes, Zoe, I know. We should probably do that. Now, all things being equal, I have certainly seen a lot worse in the survival genre. Not one of my personal favorites, I might add. But I have seen a hell of a lot worse. They seem to but, have done a lot of work on their graphics and stuff. Uh, yes. But not as much on... Oh, I, they won't even let me grab that. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm not sure... This looks like the logo for, for, for Razer. I'm not sure if they paid or... To analyze damage to, to the infrastructure of the habitat... All power sources are to be inspected. Uh-huh. Er, well, I'm impressed. Power sources. Return to the hab. <laughs> Analysis shows that the first solar panels require repair. Gather supplies and prepare for a second EVA. Equip the nanotech repair rifle. Head to the first solar device, Alpha One. Supplies. Yes, mostly oxygen. Well, I can't pick up any more than that, okay.
Oh, I've, I've got repair material on hand, therefore I don't need any more. Ha! And, hey, the damage that they suffered is actually randomized. I mean, press. Well, it was around the back the last time. Which is entertaining. And there's the garage module. So, every time you spawn, uh, you face a different scenario? Well, no, it's the same scenario. It's just that what you're going to have to do is somewhat randomized, apparently. Oh. Uh, for example, the last time there was some damage over there and there was some damage up above. But this time the damage is on the other side. Clear mm. around the other side of the module. Right well, it adds, uh, well, it, it adds to the replayability of the game. Well, kinda, not really. Building but... repaired. Recover the JMC X18. <laughs> and of course, a fair part of this game is actually supposed to be long-term survival. Mm -hmm. Other way. Vehicle repaired. You need to locate a logic board in power coupling, utilizing the HAP scanners to project possible location to salvage. Scanning. New mission. Salvage locations for equipment. Need to do that. Okay, and here is our. We have two points of exit. All right. Yes, yes, yes. My oxygen. I'm running low on oxygen. Anyway. O2, and that's different stuff actually. Mars Project. Anyway, where was I? What was I talking about there, Kate? Um, but it, it, this is a long-term survival. This is a long, it, yeah, it is. It's a long-term survival game, and as such, one of the things that you're gonna, the things that you're going to be most worried about, um, replayability is not, it's not, it shouldn't be your first option. The, the idea, of course, is being able to get in there and just get the job done. But, of course, she's probably got a couple hundred hours worth of stuff for us to do anyway. What? I don't understand. What? It's supposed to be two. It looks like it's supposed to be two hundred meters straight down. I'm trying to find this. We're trying to find this object, and it appears to be below me. Or it's behind me. I can't. Well, no, we're still headed for it, so we can't. It can't be behind me. It's just down below. Oh, looky, my friend, the logic board is not actually over here. All right. Yes, I what know we're getting we... farther away from it. What are we looking for? Oh, we are going into a corrosive area. This area is going to be corrosive, and we are headed back the way we came. Uh, I think we're headed back the way we came. <laughs> I am not sticking around for corrosive. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. I think I'm going to. I think we're going to bring the car around for this. Because <laughs> I think that's actually what we were supposed to do in the first place. There is actually a. Th funnily enough, there is actually a third-person view for this.
They, this one here, this one here also has a a third person view. It's actually got quite a lot of different stuff running around in here. Let me go ahead and run off to the half module so we can park this bad boy. What do you think, Kitty? Aside from a lot of walking, collecting, and junk. Because, frankly, that's what most of these games are anyway. Yeah. Not much to form an impression. Okay. My impression of this place wasn't... Of, of this particular game actually wasn't all that bad. See, there's our... The back of our suit. Mm. And we are running short on O2. Alright. Derp, derp, derp. Uh, map setting stats. No. Alright. Where did I find that? That was... Oh, no. That's the space bar. Uh... All right, damn you! Oh, I know where it was. Hi, where it's supposed to, where where it should be. <coughs> Item two. All right. There we go. Four cans. You've got fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> The sad part of it is we're actually we're actually technically running out of time. We're because uh, we we're going to be having a water we're going to be having a water shortage problem here in a little while. Lucky me, we've got lots of yeah. lots more little O2 canisters. And we still have to get the power coupling. Ha ha! Because that's going to be fun. All right. So here's the deal. Okay, this place is this this game is not what I call terrible. Uh, it's not something that I would ne necessarily recommend at its current price, at least not right now. But uh, I see that it actually does have some potential to do what we're t to do what we're talking about, to do what it wants to do. And if that's if that's where they're if that's where they're going with this, then we sh that, then we should be encouraging these people to do this. It's an early access. Yes, this is an early access game, which means mm -hmm. I don't expect it to be perfect. I expect it to be decent. I expect it to actually be ready for prime time. The look of the place is absolutely brilliant. This is about what I would expect anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Server exited unexpectedly. Sorry about that. Please restart the game. I'm not going to restart the game. And if there is some reason, it doesn't say it requires an always online connection. So I'm guessing that uh, it was actually an internal server. Mm. So we're going to have a whole lot of fun with that. Yippee. Frontier gameplay. New buildings. More. Well, it's already a frontier. It's already frontier gameplay, guys. <laughs> you don't get much more frontier than Mars these days. So, if you like the idea of having a of having some fun, it had. I actually took some time with it, like I said earlier, and I'll probably take some more time with it because that's just a thing that I sh that that I would want to do. If that's your if that's your bag, then by all means do that. Um, if not, then probably not. I'm going to give it a recommended at at this state simply because they have actually put a lot of work into it. How about you, Kitty? Yeah, uh, I agree with you. It looks like they put. Uh... I don't know if it's a lot of work, but it certainly uh, looks like it's their work, and I 
probably it will get better as they keep updating it. Mm -hmm. Once it gets closer to an actual release, I'll see what I, I'll I'll think about doing it again, about doing this game again. Not pro. I don't know that that will be the case, but we shall see. Yes, yes, yes. Silly dinosaurs. Anyway. Yeah, parrots. <laughs> yeah, don't mind don't mind kitty's dinosaurs. They're being weird again. Um that said, this looks this is a game that looks like Atomicom is actually is actually very proud of. And I look forward to seeing what they're gonna do with it in the future. Any additional comments, Kitty, or are you good? Yeah. I, uh, I'm in line with you in here, no disagreement. Uh, I I believe and hope that uh, there will be more stuff, more missions, and more completeness in this, but it looks fine. Not, well, not my thing, survival games, but... Uh, not my thing either, but this one's actually better done than, say, Conan Exiles. Yeah. So, yeah, that game. <laughs> Why not? All right. So, that's going to be it for this. I uh, stay tuned. We will have the next. Well, I should have the next video up sometime very soon. Between now and the next time we see you, be safe. Be sane. And let's make games fun again. See, see ya. ya.